Hello everybody, welcome to video number four of the mug rug series that we're currently doing here on my channel. I'm going to put a link down in the description box to the playlist of the mug rug series in case you've missed any of the videos in the mug rugs we've done so far. So today y'all, we're going to be making some really fun mug rugs. One of the reasons why I love mug rugs so much is because they are super quick, it's super fast, and super easy, right? I think we all need those creative breaks in between larger projects where we can just unwind and sit down and have some fun and end up with a really nice project in the end. And mug rugs are all about that. One of the other reasons I love mug rugs so much is there's endless possibilities with the fabric that you can buy, endless ways to really customize and make one of a kind mug rugs, right? And another reason I love them is that they make great gifts. We have Christmas coming up soon. Joann's has some really awesome Christmas fabrics in. And uh, yes, think about all the different ways you can decorate or make gifts using mug rugs. So let's take a look at what I have here on the table. This is just a couple of examples. The other day, I went for a quilt back to Joann's and then they had some Christmas fabrics that caught my eye. So usually when I see a fabric that I'm not quite sure what I wanna do with, I have no plans for it. I usually buy like a quarter yard section. From a quarter yard section, y'all, you get several prints of the design. A quarter yard can make so many different projects, right? So from this quarter yard, so far, I've cut one section out and that's it. That's my mug rug. I flipped pretty sides together, sewed around the edge, flipped it right side out, did some quilting, and there's my mug rug. How fast is that, right? But it's super cute. From the same fabric, I did some fussy cutting with some heat and bond light and created this one. Same fabric, two totally different looks. This is what we're going to be doing today. But just let me just show you these other two mug rugs because you don't need a pattern. You don't have to make it a certain size. Generally, a mug rug is bigger than a coaster, but smaller than a placemat, right? But there's no limit to the uh, size of your mug rug or the shape. This one's square. This one's a little bit more rectangle. Both are really useful. You could use these in place of paper towels, when you're having a snack, you could use it as a mouse pad. That's one of my favorite things to do. But you can also hang it up as a Christmas decoration, right? And so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to make a mug rug from this fabric with the campers on it for my camper. And uh, I think that I want to use this truck with the camper. And won't that be so cute? A useful decoration in the camper. It's super light. It is useful. Or I can hang it up on the wall and decorate for Christmas. So we're going to be doing some fussy cutting and making a camper mug rug today. So to start, I've cut out a section of my fabric that I want to use. And I have a piece of heat and bond light. It has the adhesive on one side and a paper finish on the other. Just gonna cut a section of this heat and bond light big enough to fuse to the back of my fabric swatch here. But I don't want any of the heat and bond to extend past my fabric. So I'm gonna trim it so that it just fits right inside that fabric. I'm gonna fuse it down to the back side. And when it's cooled off, we can cut out our design. Now you can cut your designs right out on the edge of your design if you want to. You'll see here, I'm gonna make it a little bit easier and just give myself a little bit of an offset finish around the design. You could spend lots of time really fussy cutting exactly right to the edge of your design. But I'm just gonna keep it really simple and leave a little bit of the fabric around my design. So there we go, we have our applique. I'm gonna cut out both images. I'm making two mug rugs. I'm gonna choose a background fabric. Uh, I've decided to use this layer cake. 
because I'm making two mug rugs, I'm going to just cut that layer cake right in half. That's a good little section. And then a layer cake is 10 inches wide. So I'm just going to use this green check fabric and cut a couple of borders from this fabric here. There are so many different things. You could piece together sections for your mug rug. You could cut borders just like I'm doing. You can make them all different sizes. Just have fun creating a little layout. I'm gonna pull my borders pretty sides together and sew these two seams right here with a quarter inch seam allowance. Once that's done and it's all pressed nice and flat, now I can begin designing the layout for my mug rug. So I've cut out a couple more little appliques from a different fabric just to fill in this space a little bit more. I've removed the paper backing and now we can fuse these appliques into place. I'm gonna bring in a scrap piece of batting. I like using an 80-20 for my mug rugs. It's thinner and with 80% uh, cotton, I can press on this batting and it's not going to melt or distort. I'm gonna use a little bit of glue on the back side, and I'm gonna glue baste my mug rug right into place. I'm gonna use a good hot iron on a cotton setting to dry that glue before I bring it over to the sewing machine. Now we can go do some quilting. And I like to do a, a lot of my quilting on my mug rugs before I bring in the backing fabric, but that's totally up to you. You could add the backing fabric now if you wanted the quilting to show on the back side of your mug rug. I'm just using a straight stitch and going around each one of my little appliques up at the top. They have a nice straight edge to them, so this makes it quick and easy just to do a straight stitch. You could use all kinds of stitches to sew down your applique. It's like a zigzag or a satin stitch. A blanket stitch looks so cute. I'm just doing a straight stitch. Then I'll go in and do some quilting in these border areas at the top and the bottom. That'll just add some fun textures to my mug rug. Then once I'm done with the straight stitching, I think I'll bring in my free motion foot and switch these feet over. And I'll do some free motion stitching around the truck and camper design. Mug rugs are the perfect size projects. If you want to get into free motion quilting, oh, they're perfect. You can move them around in your sewing machine and really get lots of practice quilting some mug rugs. The little offset, the little extra bit around the camper design and the truck really give me a great place to add some free motion quilting in without taking too much away from the design that I've cut out. And then I run out of bobbin thread, <laughs> so I'm going to bring in another bobbin and we'll finish up. I'm going to go ahead and do some background filler quilting, just some small little wonky meandering in the background. Quilting all of this section down. Once you get all of the quilting done, we're ready to go ahead and trim away all of the extra batting around the edges of our mug rug. So this is when I'm going to square it up. 
using the lines on my cutting mat and a straight edge ruler. I'm just gonna use my rotary cutter and trim away both sides nice and straight. Then I'll flip it around and do the top and the bottom. That's why I like to use a batting that's a little bit bigger than my top for my project so that if it gets a little wonky while I'm doing the quilting, we can straighten it all up once we're done. Now to keep this mug rug super quick and easy, I'm gonna bring in a backing fabric and lay the pretty side of my mug rug down onto my backing. And sew all the way around the edges using a quarter inch seam allowance. Just a straight stitch all the way around all four sides, making sure to leave an opening so we can turn this right side out. I do a back stitch at the beginning and the end to lock that stitch in place. And now we're gonna trim away all of the extra and flip it right side out. Once it's flipped, I give it a press nice and flat and we can top stitch around the entire edge of our mug rug just to seal in that opening and give a nice little finish to our project. Super quick and simple, y'all. You could do a, a separate binding or use the back of your project as your binding. Or you can go without a binding, and I think that this is super cute. So let's take a look at all of the different mug rugs that I've made using this method with no pattern, just the designs on some different themed fabric. I hope this has given you some ideas to break out your fabric stash and make some adorable, cute, custom mug rugs. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you really soon.